Hi, my name is Heather Kester, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. Hi, my name is Savannah Schuyler, and my pronouns are she, hers. We are going to read you the book, Call Me Max. It is written by Kyle Lukoff and illustrated by Luciano Lozano. Chapter 1. When I look in the mirror, I see a boy. I see a boy with brown, spiky hair. I see a boy with white skin that tans in the summer. I see a boy with one mom and one dad and two goldfish. <laughs> I also see a boy who is transgender. Transgender is a long word, but it means something simple. Trans means going across, like how transportation means going from here to there. Gender means something like being a boy or a girl, or a little both, or not feeling like a boy or girl. When a baby is born, grown-ups say, it's a boy or it's a girl. If a brand new baby could talk, sometimes that baby might say, no, I'm not. When a baby grows up to be transgender, it means that the grown-ups who say they were a boy or girl made a mistake. When I was born, my mom and dad said, it's a girl. When I look in the mirror, I saw a girl, kind of, but because I'm transgender, I wanted to see a boy. My parents thought I was cute when I put on my dad's ties, like to sleep in my Batman shirt. When they bought me a dress for my first day of school, I lost it. I couldn't tell them I lost it because it was at the bottom of the garbage bin. I wore my favorite overalls instead. I thought school would be hard because I didn't know how to read. I thought school would be hard because I wouldn't get to play at all. But school turned out to be hard for other reasons. Chapter 2. On the first day of school, the teacher called out our names. Emery? Here. Stella? Me? I raised my hand when she got to my name. She looked at me and then looked at the list of names and then looked back at me again. I wondered if she thought my name didn't make sense for me. I felt that way too. Can you call me Max? I asked. Max is the boy in my favorite book. She nodded and wrote it down. I won't tell you what my old name was. That's private. I had to go to the bathroom after snack. At home, there is one bathroom for everyone to use. When I went to the store with my dad, I went into the bathroom with him. When I went to the, the movies with my mom, I went into the bathroom with her. But at school, I had to pick which bathroom to use. When I went in the girl's bathroom, a girl ran out. She thought I was a boy. I didn't mean to scare her, but I liked that she thought I was a boy. I used the boys' bathroom instead, but when I came out, I saw kids giggling and pointing. I decided to hold it all day and tried not to drink too much water, no matter how thirsty I got. Chapter 3 Making friends was easy, but everyone asked if I was a boy or a girl. I told my friend Teresa that I wanted to be a boy. She asked me why. Because I like climbing trees. I told her, and looking for gross bugs. She looked mad. I'm a girl, she told me, and we climb trees together. I also caught more spiders than you did. Oh yeah, I said. Sorry, I forgot. But spiders aren't bugs, and I still don't think I'm a girl. I know spiders aren't bugs, Teresa said. Why don't you think you're a girl? Because I don't feel like one on the inside. I told my friend Stephen that I might be a boy. I can't be a girl, I said. I hate wearing dresses. He looked down at his dress and then glared at me. This is my favorite dress, and I like being a boy. 
Oh yeah, I said. I forgot. I'm sorry, and it's all and it's a very pretty dress. But I still know I'm a boy. How come, he asked. Because I feel like one, I told him. On the inside. Chapter 4 One day, Stephen and Teresa came over to play. My parents heard them call me Max. During dinner, they asked me why. I told them all about school, how I couldn't go to the bathroom, how I didn't like my old name, and how I felt like a boy. My mom and dad talked to my teacher, and we found a group for kids like me. Boys and girls and kids who weren't boys or girls, all of us were transgender. We talked about s serious things, like bathrooms and teasing. We also talked about fun things, like video games and books and toys. I don't know what our parents talked about, probably the same things. I told my class that I was transgender. The boys got used to having me in their bathroom. The girls didn't want me in theirs anyway. Teresa and I kept climbing trees and finding gross bugs. I still didn't want to play dress up with Stephen. Some of the girls in the group gave me their old boy clothes. I gave them some of my old girl clothes. Being a boy isn't better than being a girl, but being myself is the best. The end. If you're a parent or educator looking for resources to support trans youth, please visit gladglad.org, hrc.org, or pflag, P -F -L -A -G .org. Also, if you want to help me make more safe spaces for LGBTQ plus youth within Utah, visit my website, Safe Space UT. Thank you.